In this very quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use an analog pin as a digital pin on the Arduino board. So you have all, this is the Arduino Uno, right? But it should be similar with different boards. You have different digital pins that you have here and different analog pins you have here. So I have plugged here, I already have a circuit with an LED plugged to pin number 12. So digital pin number 12. And I have some code here that simply, so this is a quite basic code, okay? The blink example with pin mode to set the output mode for the pin 12. And then we power on the LED, we power off the LED every one second. So let's just start the simulation here. Okay, you can see it's working. So I'm using the simulation, but that will be the exact same on your real circuit. Now, if you want to use an analog pin instead of a digital pin, it's very simple. You keep the same circuit, but now this I'm going to remove that cable. You are going to add a connection not to a digital pin, but to an analog pin. Let's use analog pin number A2, okay? So now the LED is connected to analog pin A2 and not digital pin 12. So what I can do in my code is very super, super simple. I just change LED pin to A2 and let's start again and it's working just as before. So you can use actually analog pins as digital pins. To do that it's very simple so you just plug your component to an analog pin and then you simply use the analog pin as a digital pin. So you use pin mode okay to set as input or output and then you use digital read or digital write depending on the mode. And as you can see in the program here, that's very convenient to use a define, okay? Because that way you can directly change the pin number here and not have to change the pin number every time you need to use it. So to recap here with analog pins, basically by default, their analog pins are set as analog input pins. So you are going to plug some sensors to read data, to read actually analog data. But if you plug another component and you set this with pin mode, then you can use the pin as a digital pin. And that is super convenient. For example, let's say you have a circuit with many components plugged to all the digital pins and you don't have enough digital pins, but you still have some analog pins. In that case, what you can do is simply plug your new components to analog pins and use the analog pins as digital pins. If you liked this video, subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future. Also, check out my online courses so you can learn Arduino step by step in an efficient way by practicing and directly going to the point. Links in the description. Alright, thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.